Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. Last time Jill woke up, we found out that Joshua is the other dominant. It's confusing. I don't understand it myself yet, but I'm interested to learn more. We are now back with Jill though. We are going to Rosaria to try and recall the events of what happened and I think to find the other dominant. Who knows? Maybe brothers will reunite. I guess we will have to wait and see as we continue to play. I'm so excited though. So this is Jill. We are in three reads and I believe Gav, was it Gav who told us? There is a woman make the Martha's rest. I think that's who we're gonna go and try and see and she's gonna basically take care of these guys. Ooh, there's something over there to collect. Ooh, I feel like these are enemies. Are you? No, you guys are peaceful. No, you are not. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, but they suddenly are not. Let's get me. You know what to do, boy. Don't let them get away. Sick of toggle. That's enough. It's more mud than water, that's fine. All this for this... What is this? This better be good. Anyway. <laughs> I guess we shall continue on. We can't go through there. Back on path we go. Oh, there's a side first. There, boy. Sick of toggle. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Guessing that's the bridge. Oi! Stop. What do you mean, yeah. oi? You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. So it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Oh, wait, we're going there anyway. there quick, mind. I might as well. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. We're going there. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. You're very rude, you know. I don't have to do this. Okay, we got a sealed crate. Right. A killer bee. Wow. Keep your distance, boy. Stay down. Oh, fuck. That's it. 
Oh yeah, no, we don't like that. <laughs> Sick of toggle. There, boy. You know what to do, boy. Wait, there was something back here. Another fine. Sick of toggle. That is how it's done. Come on, Jill. I think if you don't disturb those guys, they won't come for you. So, oh, there is a shiny. Is it worth it? go get this one as well i've seen it now i need to get it actually maybe if i don't come into contact with those guys they won't start anything see we have an agreement i won't disturb you you don't disturb me cool okay i know it does xp but it's fine i don't want to just like go for them they're not going to attack me the the claw the crab ones they just come at me anyway Here we are. so you know they're gonna get what they Martha's depart, rest. <laughs> but any other ones? See, they went off. Mutual understanding. Oh, I mean, I could just go in the water. It's not like it, it, whatever. <laughs> There, boy, stay down. Sick of toggle. Did I get the thing? Oh, I think we have to come up this way. No, we have to go across the bridge. I'm gonna leave you guys to it. To go around to get that one. Oh. Sick of toggle. fighting this. Get him, boy. I feel 
feel kind of bad. It was just chilling. Give them all you've got, boys. I do, I really do actually feel horrible. The full big horn. Oh, but I did get three pinches of magic and dash, did it say? Okay. Can I sneak? Can we get this one? Probably not. past these guys I don't know I'll try it Anyone. I'm sorry. This is the thing. I see one thing, I get sidetracked. I go to get it. I see another thing, I go to get that. I see another thing, I go to get that. There just there has to be a point where I pull myself back because otherwise I'm just constantly going around collecting every single thing, and it will never end. Why I, did I not get you? Don't mind me. See, I like these guys. I don't touch them. They don't come after me. We have a fair alliance. It's very nice. Right, let us. Is it you? That's one of our brands. Speak to. Oh shoot! Hello, have to something. <laughs> Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. Oh, I, I always forget to read what it says. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing, bringing it to me though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the cart up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Quest complete. So that was a nice one, because it was on the way. And I didn't really even have to do anything. And I got stuff. Thank you. Good girl. You get some rest now. We get travelers and merchants aplenty through here. Enough to keep me busy, that's for certain. Hello, Bubba. Get it, boy! <laughs> okay, let's continue on. 
I don't really want to heal. I don't think you I need to. You barely have to step out your front door these days before you're... <laughs> still bandits. That's right. Ooh. Shiny. Um, but I thought this land was uninhabitable. But it seems to be... I don't really know what it means by uninhabitable. To be fair. Like, I kind of assumed that Martha is no one can get here. Claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Stuff is for the golden stables again. But clearly, people do. <laughs> so. When he goes to East Pool, leave him in the park. This one's already Here. unlocked. Has this thing always been glowing? <laughs> that one's al always been unlocked? <laughs> so much for all parts of the Empire being equal, if that's all the crystal they give us. Oh, and it's not like any of us lowborn can afford a bear or anything. Or chess. I feel bad. I feel I feel like I just stole this stuff. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, alright? The bridge is down. If you're headed for East Pool, you'll have to wait. Does this man even know what he's doing? <laughs> If it weren't for that mark, I'd be on you like a rash. Oh. You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard in days. Come on. Come inside. Oh. Okay. I will leave you guys alone. Alright, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Up here. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Undressing greens of Isar. Never down raw, less bitter juices, inspire violent retching and loose bowels. Oh, gosh. Martha Brook Snow Sharps. The following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boost. <laughs> oh, wait, what the hell? What is this place? Not just selling our blades and our bodies. We'll probably be getting one of those rooms then, together. Yeah. Probably not. Unfortunately. Very sad. Hi, Martha! Oh, she's so pretty! Why is she giving her that look? <laughs> Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking. And why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. <laughs> and if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Ooh. They look so Sorry short before. in here. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. Friend? He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. Yep. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through East Pool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't oh, collapsed. Oh, we can jump across that. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. I guess we'll find him. Yeah. And make sure he's safe. 
Oh, we'll try. We both need that bridge repaired. Something else. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I don't know. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. Let's go find him. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the fallen gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. <laughs> His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Okay. Let's go, Jill. To the marshes, then. Let's find that Come ladder. He goes to Eastpool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. I love his voice. <laughs> Hi. I don't care what your orders are, Grandin. You can't. Ah, get away from me! Wait, how? What was that? How does Torvo get down? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Did he just teleport? <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. Give them all you've got. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. Get him. Sick of him. There, boy. Enemy slain. Level up. I was wondering. We are now level twenty. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. What about me? Not at all. You're Bernard the carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. Look him standing behind her. <laughs> she asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. I mean, you were standing up over safe. a rock. I, know I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but... And it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Thank you. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. <laughs> I won't lie. Ah, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. <laughs> I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. I still enough. feel like they could jump over it. He could Phoenix shift over it. But alas, that would not work with the story. The bridge will bridge is down. When if you're headed for East Pool, right? you'll have to wait. No, I will find a loophole. Well, no, I was making it up quicker. Hey. Do you like that? The power that one has when you know the right people. Did I explore up here? I don't think I did. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Merchant. Oh, do. No, boring. Oh, wait, no. It's common, but it does do more damage. Oh, but my one's so much cooler. I guess I have enough. Thanks very much. Pretty well. Oh, it looks boring. I want my other one back. Look at all the fresh vegetables. 
Been doing a healthy trade with the folk from the monastery of late. Funny how this stuff looks so good. We seem to have full purses. Okay. I don't want to go down there just yet. Let's go report back to Martha. Martha! Was good, honest work building that. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was Look lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. <laughs> the look they gave each other. We'd be delighted. Quest complete. Nice. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. <laughs> no, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, I. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Oh, oh that's not... Oh, no. Ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? Oh. No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. My God. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day. But they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. This is going to be trouble for Clive then. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. This isn't going to be good. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Oh, we're going to use the uh, elevator. Where'd you get these turnips? Fresh cuts, fresh cuts, get your fresh cuts here. Hello, Toko. Let me 
pet you! Let me pet you! I knew that children were tested. That a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. Sure. I know. But for a child to be blamed. Look at that chocobo! To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. I think me and you should just get on the boat and have a date and leave all the problems to the past. <laughs> I think that's what we should do. Get him! Keep your distance, boy! Get him! Get him, boy! It's over! Chocobos are bluebirds. Hmm. Should I go at them? Why not? Sick of toggle. Get him. I feel oh no, these are chocobos. Bad. They were just existing, but I just, I just s s s slew them, slain them. Sick of toggle. Get him. Over here. Sick of toggle. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Uh, Let's go and see. Give them all you've got, boy. Let's go look at these guys. There, boy. Sick of toggle. Don't let them get away. There, boy. Sick of toggle. Over here. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. 
May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. I see. Then please, follow me. Wait. Alliance, those who do not call the hideaway their home, but nevertheless lend their strength to Sid's cause. There are many towns in the Twins who balk at the persecution of bearers, but cannot find within them the courage to oppose it. Knowing what fate awaits them should their sympathies be exposed. Others take that risk, aiding Sid's bearer liberation efforts with information sent by Stolas, monetary assistance or direct action. Martha. Land Lady of the Golden Stables, a tavern at the heart of Martha's Rest. She is also a friend of Sid's cause, keeping the hideaway supplied with both victuals and information on developments in Western Storm. A second string to her business that she strives to keep secret from the Imperial, Imperial authorities. Glade on Abbey. A clutch of humble stone buildings perched above Sorrow Wise Bay in the imperial province of Rosarius, Rosarius, southern eastern lowlands. The abbey was built in order to propagate the Gregorian faith after the Duchy of Rosaria was made part of the Holy Empire of San Roque, and as such is one of the rare examples of imperial architecture in the region. Okay, let's go. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light... It fades. Yeah, these are where bearers go. I don't go. want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. So I'm for guessing the time they have left. The bearers are born, they're given up if they are one. They go through training and then if they die in battle or something happens to them and Martha knows them, they'll come here. Wait, is this what Jill the curse did? Has taken them. No. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. He's smiling. Oh my God. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Um. 
so I'm kind of hoping that like the law of the bears and the ether kind of uh, explained a bit more because that's something that I'm not really picking up on now like I don't fully understand it because obviously Clive's a bear but he's also a dominant I genuinely think it's just something that is going to unravel and be taught over time <sighs> I think it's just something that is going to happen. I think it's just something that's going to be taught over time. Uh, let's report back to Martha. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. She gonna give us a room, Arthur? Not like that, <laughs> jeez. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. They're my property, at least by law. Oh my god. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You've got Already? questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Mm -hmm. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Seal obtained. Slumbering chocobo from Martha. And know that you will always be welcome here. Mm. No thank you guys, come on. Show some manners. <laughs> you were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Aww. Oh my god. Quest complete. Has it always done this? I feel like it just goes into the next mission, usually. Make the East Wall. Sid! Sid. Damn it. Why can't you stay away longer? We were oh, having Clive. We were having You're not fun. Where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. <gasps> With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. That's why he was coughing up blood. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you <laughs> stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I knew a girl, back in the day. 
She was a slave to her fate, just like you. He's talking about Benedict, huh? I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. Oh no. I don't know if you heard that noise. One of my cats just threw up. <gasps> oh no. not a monster you're the same man you've always been except that and you may yet escape your fate my fate look lad you've had a hard life and i don't see it getting much easier you might not be able to save anyone else Save but yourself. at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. <laughs> but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Oh no, is this our yes. goodbye to Sid? I, I hope we see him again. He's not dead. Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Hi guys. Hi Still get to be the three of us. <laughs> and that is the start of a new chapter. Holding on. Ooh, a new quest is available. Where? Or down there? Oh, two new quests! Nice! Can we do any upgrades? Oh yes, we can do that one now. Cool. Holding on. At Martha's rest, Clive and Jill cross paths with Sid and say their final farewells before continuing their journey. The road ahead leads north through Rhiannon's ride to Eastport, then on to Phoenix Gate. Okay, well, I think that is a good place to stop and leave it there for today. This, this one's so cool, but like, no, wait, this one's stronger, but it doesn't look as cool as this one. Ugh. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and I'm going to leave that there for today's part of Final Fantasy 16. I'm still enjoying it so much. I really do want to understand a bit more about the whole bearers and the ether, though, because I know that there was the whole part with Benedicta taking up too much ether, and then she kind of became merged with Garuda. She became the dominant like no she became the icon is it i think that's what happens they can merge and they become the icon and then she died i believe i don't know if she's dead or not she seemed pretty dead but like who knows in games literally anything games tv shows whatever there is always a possibility of them coming back let's face it so yeah i don't know if she's actually gone i feel like she is but yeah i really would like the i don't know if there's somewhere else that you can kind of read it maybe the guy back in the hideaway who has all the law on everyone maybe that's where you can read it but i don't know but i would like the ether part explained a bit more i'm very interested to see where it goes though i kind of thought we'd meet joshua in this episode but Alas not, maybe that will be the next one. Who knows? I don't know. I really don't. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of Final Fantasy 16. Okay. Bye.